Boker Tov, good morning. We continue with our three-minute daily dose of Torah. Um, looking at the story of Eliezer going to find a wife for Yitzchak. Uh, one of the questions we have when we read this story is exactly what were his instructions? Um, what are his parameters? When Avraham sends, Yitzchak, sends Eliezer, he wants him to take an oath. I'll make you take an oath by God, God, the Lord of the heaven and the earth. You shouldn't take a wife from these Canaanites amongst whom I live. You must go to my land and to my birthplace. That's where you'll take a wife for my son, for Yitzchak. What is Artsi and Moladati? There are actually some, a little bit of a de, de, de debate that we know between Ibn Ezra and the Ramban about this. But Rashi simply says Artsi is Haran, where he lived, which is actually, again, in Syria. And Moladati is Or Kastim, or the Chaldees, which is down in Mesopotamia. Um, that's where you should go, take a wife. So when we read the text, it's pretty broad, right? Um, don't take a wife from the locals. Go there. Go there and find a wife from there. Yet when Eliezer actually shows up um, and, and um, it has, and eventually has a conversation with the family, he kind of he, he tells them, he's trying to be transparent, it seems. Um, he tells a little background about what happened, um, you know, how Avraham has done very well, and, 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 and Sarah finally gave birth to a child. Um, and gave him everything, as we talked about the other time. And my master made me take an oath, lay more, saying, So, so far, so good. Don't take a wife for my son from the, from the Canaanites amongst whom I live. You, rather, you must go to my father's house and my family. And you'll take... A, a, daughter, a, a wife for my son. So what does that mean? Does that mean go to the place where my family is, lives? Okay, that's one possibility. Or what does it actually mean take a member of the family? You, right, you need, you, you need to be taking somebody part of the larger mishpacha, that is my mishpacha. So if that's the case, and some, some note that really Eliezer kind of um, ha, ha, ruins his own bargaining position because now um, they know that he, they, that he needs them very much, and it still works out, right, as the story goes. Um, but he, at least he understands that he was never given a carte blanche to take anybody and any woman he, fa- he found in that area. It had to be someone from the family, from the family. And so one of the discussions is, does he ask who she is? When does he ask who she is? Does he sort of give her something, you know, give her the gifts that he gives her before he finds out who she is or not. That's all part of the conversation um, how, with the way the Torah lays it out firstly as the events happen and then how he retells the story later. But that is one of the core questions that you have. Um, would, would Avram been okay if it had been some stranger uh, woman just from that neighborhood or did it need to be a member of the family? Um, seemingly, as Eliezer presents it, that's, what, um, that's at least how, we understand, how he understands are the instructions he's meant to follow. We'll continue with our study, God willing, tomorrow.